This one has come up in the comments a lot and it's a band that I don't know very well. I know that the lead singer is a character and he wears a mask. Um, that's all I know. Let's give them a listen. It's a song that my papa used to sing actually. You might like this one. Weird speaking voice. So it's kind of interesting looking at this nun here in the audience. This band um, have found that their kind of satanic themes are, have been quite problematic for them in the world, and they were unable to find choral singers who would sing their lyrics, for example. So, having said that, I think in their the darkness of their songs is quite bright. Although you have things like the organ and things like that, it feels very uplifting. Maybe that's a sign of the devil, I don't know. <laughs> That nun's having the best time. I love that organ sound. Okay, so his vowels are really interesting. He's really, really going towards reasons instead of reasons and closing to an n sound. Reasons. He is keeping the vowel as long as possible, and the n sound literally is a stopper of the note. A, a problem that happens again and again with a lot of my pupils is you get things like reasons, and that closes and muffles the sound, especially on consonants that you can sing through, like n's and m's. So if you can keep on that vowel as long as possible it's going to really, really help you out. He did that on a uh, cross as well. Instead of the O oh sound, it's an A, ah, and this is right at the end. Really, really precise and very, very quick. Rules, very quick. What a great song. I love the melody. Go, so I can go. It's so weird to see his face not really moving. <laughs> Okay, that was a really interesting kind of production and um, singing point. You don't always have to make your chorus bigger than the verse. It often feels like that, but sometimes if you bring it back and then he's going to then, you know, I think the first chorus was bigger, but bringing it back this time is a surprise. It's something new for the audience. And then he's going to be like, sing it! And everyone's going to be like, woo! And uh, it just gives you a journey to go on and you don't have to do the same old journey that we hear a thousand times. Not that that's not 
good because sometimes that really really works for songs like most of the time that's why it's used that bigger chorus but i just love it when you can flip it on its head like that beautiful sounding audience as well Here's his vowels again. So you've got great harmonies going on here. This kind of call and response with the Mariana cross. I love this build of harmonies. And then nothing, nothing, nothing. So you've got thirds going on that you built up the entire chords. So chords are kind of the base of your music, the uh, the bedrock in which your melody will be m built upon and you know you can start you start often with your bass note a third above that or your root note um and then a third above that or your fifth and that is what creates your chord that really full snuggly sound so they started on their root they built to the third and they went up to their fifth which is really good and the harmonies it's uh, quite high That was, I love that song. I really like this song. I need to listen to more of their music. Marijuana. <laughs> Drops. <laughs> I really enjoyed that. I really enjoy also in his speaking voice that almost Joker-esque sort of sound and how he really embodies that character. <laughs> Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye.